All right, hello folks, it is a new week. We are doing the Tango Bridge today. Another one by Yuru Chen. I believe the last one, the last week was also by her. So that's cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a grid tangle. Um, the steps on this tangle is Inside the the grid, you will make two arches like this, and then you aura those arches, and then in the corner, you'll like aura the corner like that, and then fill in this little right there. So one, two, three. See, this one was done. One, two, three, and then fill. This one was done. One two, three, four, and then fill because of the spacing. And so it doesn't really make any difference how many of those. You just do the, follow the square and do a fill here. And then step four is to put this little square here and then do a, a line there so that the fi final product looks like that. And then when you do it in a grid, and there's variations you can do, you can do them with a radiating um, instead of doing the square, do radiations here, or um, instead of doing the square here, do round there, or you could just choose not to do anything at all there, whatever. But look what happens when you put it in a grid and you do them some this way and some this way, different directions. It becomes this, this thing. And that is really cool. I like it. Wonder what it would look like though, if you did them all the same direction rather than this. I mean, I like this. I think this is really cool, but I wonder, just wondering what, what would it look like if they were all going like the same direction. I'm just trying to imagine. So if I turn that one around, I don't know what it would look like. Maybe we'll try it that way and different than the, than the, the sample. All right, here we go. Being is how it's a grid. I want to go ahead and put in my border here and make myself a grid that's relatively even. Not completely because, you know, but better than if I didn't plan ahead. Okay, there we go. I've, I've penciled myself in just lightly a little grid. <clears throat> I'm going to try using my new Manga Zig Manga O2 pen today. It's a Kuretake pen. Water-based pigment. Uh, keep horizontal. So you're supposed to store it horizontal, not up, not upside down or right side up, but horizontal. It's made in Japan. But I did I did test this out on my black pens. Um, sampler thing which I should have posted before you see this video I hope and so I'm just going to go ahead and draw draw this square Oop. well that's not very straight what the heck happened to my hand I don't know it's because I was moving with my wrist instead of my whole arm um, if you just try to move with your wrist, you tend to move in a not 
natural way. If you move your whole arm instead, you do tend to make a better straight line when you're trying to do straight lines, just FYI. Make me a grid. I'm just using the pencil that I put down as a general General idea where to put my pen, it's not set in stone. If you if you could see, I'm not sure you can see, but I'm gonna zoom in. You can see that where I had my pencil is not where I ended up putting my pen. And that's okay. I was just using it as a general guideline. Zoom back out. So you can see what I'm doing here. And step one is to draw an arch like so. Step two is that. And Do I want to do them th that other way or do I want to do them this way? And just, I'm just going to see what happens when you draw them all going the same direction. I go across this way. here it is not going to fall connecting to this at all in any way shape or form hmm I think that's why they did it the other way because if you then turn it and do it this way, it does connect. I'm just a thinking, trying to imagine. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. I, I just wanna see what it's gonna look like because we know what it's gonna look like if you turn the tile and do them going the other way. It's gonna have that sort of um, look like this where they're these are going whoops these are going this way and then the, these are going this way right um, I'm just going to do them the, the other way where they're all going the same direction and just see what happens might be something I really like I might turn out that I just don't like it at all but you know doesn't matter. It's just paper. It's not like we're Picasso or something. And even if we were, Picasso would say, it's just paint. It's just paper. Go for it, right? My curves aren't as curvy as others. We are just, I'm just going to go for it.
and one more. Two curves and like so. That was step one and two. Step three. As the square thing happening. So I want to something like that. Let me zoom in a little. You guys are very far away. So far, so good. We just keep on a going. I like that I have a little bit of sunshine today so I can see what I'm doing. I'm supposed to have supposed to have sun today and rain tomorrow and then Sun the next day and rain the following day. It's supposed to be like every other day. It's going to rain for the rest of the week. Would be nice if we had a not rainy day on the same day that we were home so that we could put away our Christmas stuff, our outdoor Christmas stuff. It's all still out there because it's just been too cold and wet. It, the cold doesn't isn't so bad, but it's just been wet and uh, it's too hard to take down the Christmas outdoor stuff when it's wet because we don't want to store it when it's wet. We'd like it to be all nice and dry before we take it down. So that nothing ends up moldy in the garage when it gets stored. So I am hoping that one of the dry days falls on one of the days that we are home. Of course, the boy, he's managed to catch himself a cold, so I'm hoping that by the time we have a dry day, he's also feeling better. Both of those things. It's different than the um, than the sample, but I like it. Easy to do. This is one that's simple to remember. And once you get started, it doesn't take a lot of thought. So you can get really into that Zen zone, which is 
for me very enjoyable Noticed I was really gripping this pen hard, and I don't know why. I've got to loosen up my grip just a little bit. I will feel better. Do you like that I don't have to hold this pen straight up and down so you guys can see more of what I'm drawing? Because I can hold it at a more natural pen angle, which is making it so my fingers are not covering up so much of what I'm doing. I like that. That's, that's a cool part of this pen. But it was causing me to grip tighter. I don't know. I guess that's just my natural thing. When I'm holding it like this, I've learned to just really relax. And when I'm holding it like this, I'm, I'm much more... I can tell that I'm holding it differently. I'm actually more comfortable straight up and down. And I may not spend a lot of time in this other grip. But I'm having to consciously relax. Yeah, I like it. Make sure when you're drawing you're making deliberate lines that you know where you're planning on stopping and starting so that you don't end up with a weird overlap whenever possible and and you don't end up with gaps if I see a gap I go in there and fix it right there Okay, there we go. That's what it looks like when you do it that other way. And then um, I'm just gonna follow, unlike normal, I'm just gonna follow what it shows as the, shows putting a little square here, a little square here, and then Connecting those like that. I think I need to make them dark here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So a square with a dark square. Dark and a line between. 
That sure does make a difference, doesn't it? You, you lose this this whole white space. It, it total, totally um, fills that in a little. You lose the bridge. I see the bridge really well here. I, I kind of lose it like that. But since I've already done it, I don't want to not do it. Oh, you know what I could do? Let me do this. I know what I could do. Okay, I can do those four that way, and I can do these four that way, and then I can leave those like that, or do something else in those ones. square and line. Square and a line. A little square and a line. Okay. And now yeah, I'm not I'm not I don't want them all the same. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I'll do the circles here. Circle and a line. Yeah. All right. Circles. A little shadow and a line. Okay. Circle, circle. Little shadow. And line. Oops, that line wasn't straight. Oh well. Circle, circle. Little shadow. Line. And I have to get ready for work again. I do that a lot. Oops. Circle. And all right. Okay. There we go. That way, or that way. Either way. This one's bridge. And let me get that a little bit of shading. I'm gonna shade right here.
just a little bit. And then we'll see. I might decide to put a little bit something somewhere else, but for sure I want this. Slight, slight bit of blend right there. the other side. Okay, let's see. Take a look at it from a distance. Decide what else I need to do here. Anything? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go up into the. I'm going to do this. corners. Something like that. Just gives it just a little bit more dimension. Just a slight blend. Nothing going a particular direction. Okay, yeah, that's what it needed. There we go. Now I really like it. There we go, folks. There is Bridge by Yu Ru Chen. Done slightly different than her sample. Um, I like it. It's a grid. Uh, grids are growing on me, slowly. It has taken a lot of practice for a grid to grow on me but they're there. So you guys have a really blessed day. Go out and um, do something nice for somebody else. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve to have something nice happen to you as well. Um, you know, enjoy your day. Have some fun with life. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.